So you two, we have Martin. You got top four today playing what? Unchained. Unchained. Pure, pure unchained. Do you yes, like sir. the deck? I do. I love it. Especially with all the new before. cards. Yes, they're so good. The <laughs> new two, the two new dogs, and extra deck monster just makes the deck amazing. The extra deck, the extra deck feels like a custom card. Really yeah. good card. All right, how many cards are in your main deck? Uh, forty. Forty. All right, I think. All right, you're good. All right, let's see your main deck. All right, so to start off. We're gonna start off with the twins. Uh, two star one. Uh, this card is really good. It sets any unchained card in your graveyard and destroys any card on the field. So you could set the traps and pop them to summon any unchained monster, be it the bigger dogs, the soul, or the disaster. Okay. Um, and all of them have the effect that if they're destroyed by battle or card effects, they summon more unchained monsters from the deck. So they always flow. Like all the little ones do that, right? Yeah, all the little ones do. Uh, then it's the Aruha. Uh, this one's neat because I can set a card on the field, be it monster, spell, or trap, reveal, pop it, and just summon it. It, uh, it literally is a two card combo with this and any trap. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is Rakea. This one is a quick effect pop on my side of the field. Um, I can pop monsters, the traps when they're face down, again also to summon the bigger monsters. Uh, this is also good, you know, during battle also to OTK. You can attack with the little ones, uh, pop one of the little ones, and bring out the bigger ones just to finish off your opponent. Nice. <laughs> uh, the next one, it's three of the new one. Uh, Unchained Soul of Sharvara. So what does this do? So this one is really great. Uh, during either player's turn, uh, it can summon itself by destroying any face-up card on the field, I believe, or face-down card. One fiend monster or face-down card on the field uh, and summon it during either player's turn, only during the main phase. Um, so this is also like a very good starter. Uh, this and one of your traps can facilitate the combo to end on uh, Yama, uh, High King Caesar, with a either the Reborn Trap or the Pop uh, Trap. Mm -hmm. Um, it also has a graveyard effect that when this is sent, it sets one of the traps uh, from directly from the deck. Nice. So um, it just needs to hit grave. So if you detach it off a of Caesar, it'll just immediately activate. Oh, so if you link with it, you can basically get both traps. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is Unchained Soul of Shayama. This card is really good when it's not in my hand. <laughs> this is one of the bricks in the deck. Um, it belongs more in the graveyard because it summons itself by popping a face-up fiend or a face-down uh, card. Yeah. Uh, you can, it's not a non-summon effect, I think, uh, but you can destroy one card you control and one spell or trap on the field. Um, this one is really good. You can chain it off of uh, Yama. Uh, you destroy something on the field, Yama's in the graveyard. Uh, it'll chain, uh, banish itself to summon the red dog. So you can have your level six, uh, level six Xyz monsters. Okay. Uh, next is the two level eights in the deck. Uh, this one used to run at two. Now with the new monsters, uh, you only need one. Uh, this one is a on summon. You discard a card, uh, destroy any card in the field, and it doesn't target. So this card's really good against you know anything that says you cannot target this card. So uh, this is the other brick in the deck. <laughs> you never want to draw this one. I'd rather draw the other blue dog than this one, but you still need to run it because. <laughs> It is really good to clear boards. Uh, your opponent has a big monster that can be targeted. Um, summon this, and link it away, and bring out any Dark Link monster from your extra deck. I know the gimmick of some of the Unchained cards like to IP their board, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of, yeah. yeah I, uh, the one that does act for IPing is the, the Blue Dog, I think, yeah. Rage. Uh, and then Hand Traps. We got three Ash Blossom, you know, staples. Uh, three draw because you know everyone's searching in the format right now. Uh, this needs to be a three. Yeah. And then I play two of the fiend kaiju's. Um, I main these just because you know if I go second and some boards like pearly cannot be targeted or cannot be anything. This is this is my you know out to it. Yeah. It's also a fiend, so it's very uh, it synergizes well with the extra deck monsters if they're destroyed. You can just add this back from the graveyard back to your hand. Give it to your opponent next turn. Okay. Uh, then it's the traps. Uh, 
Abominable Chamber of the Enchained. Uh, it's basically the monster reborn of the deck. Um, you know, you said it, uh, targets one Enchained monster in the graveyard, reborns it. So if you, you know, link away with a monster, <laughs> if you link away with a monster, you can just bring back the one that you use. <laughs> Escape of the Unchained. This one uh, targets one Unchained monster I control and uh, one card on the field. Um, also, all of the traps uh, have the stipulation that if they're face down and they're destroyed, they summon Unchained monsters directly from the deck. So, Utility. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Sometimes like I'll, I'll set these up if I don't open monsters and someone will accidentally activate Harpy's oh, Feather Duster <laughs> and they'll just start off the combo right there. Uh, three Infirms, again, you know, very needed, hand common, common hand traps. Uh, three Judgment, because this deck has no inherent negates, so I will immediately lose to a evenly matched or a <laughs> uh, evenly matched or a um, Dark Ruler no more, so, you know, that's just to stop these. Okay. Uh, onto the spells. Uh, the only unchained spell, it's not even unchained, you can't even search for it. <laughs> but, you know, Abomination's Prison. Uh, nice. Yeah. It also has the stipulation if it's set and it's destroyed, it's special summons from the deck. But this is the Rota for them, right? Yeah, it's the Rota of the deck. Oh, it's any card, okay, not yeah. just monster. Okay. And then two Book of Moon, because cash is still a thing, fortunately. Uh, this is also really nice, you know, set one of my monsters face down. Uh, I would combo. I would use this to combo off if I had. Uh, before I was running tour guide, so people would go. You go tour guide and they go in front. You chain the book of moon. You, you still, still get, get the, the body. At yeah, least, you still yeah. got the body at least. And then uh, triple tactic talents. Three just, or two? Just, just two. Okay, just two. two. Okay. Yeah, just two. You know, just in case I'm going first, I get ash hand trap. This will give me an extra two draws because. The deck, uh, I don't run any pop cards with this. I used to draw extra. I used to run extravagance, but now the extra deck monsters are kind of needed <laughs> with like the new ones. So just these. Okay. Um, now your extra deck. And for the extra deck, uh, we have the two new, two uh, one of the, the new monster. So what does this one do? So this one on summon, it will search a unchained monster directly from the deck or add one from your graveyard. Uh, this one is probably my favorite out of all the souls monsters in the extra deck because of its secondary effect. If anything on the field is destroyed, it banishes itself and summons an unchained monster from the graveyard. From the hand or graveyard. Then you can't destroy a card control. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, Very unique card. Yeah. And then two Soul of Anguish. Uh, you only run two of these. This is uh, just a clear board. It uses your opponent's monsters to link away. You know, <laughs> this and one monster equals access code talker, like immediately. Yeah, this one's not like the blue one, right? The blue one came to the effect? Yeah, this one's only on my turn. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Unchained Soul of Rage. Uh, this is the one we usually end on. Uh, this is the one that's a quick effect link. You you can clear two bodies with this easy. You clear the first one with rage, and if they have follow up, you summon the unicorn um, to shuffle it back. Clear another card. Yeah, yeah. it's actually three. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, three. Yeah, three. three rage. All right, nice. Uh, one abomination. Uh, you only run one of these. You know, it's it's another big body. It has three different effects. Uh, if something on the field is destroyed, it destroys a card. During battle, if a monster is destroyed, it destroys a card. And on end phase, it destroys a card. Excellent. Yeah. And two unicorns. Uh, like then you can combo this off with the rage. Shuffles a card after you cleared the first card. Uh, a dark. I'm kind of iffy on this. I never summon this at all. <laughs> but I know it comes up. Uh, being able to summon an opponent's dark monster is pretty good. Especially there's a bunch of good ones. Bastilles, Labyrinth yeah. monsters. There's good targets out there. Yeah. Uh, Nightmare Griffin. Uh, this one is just, you know, plug it, skill drain basically. Nice. Uh, the only thing that sucks is it's a light, so I can't quick effect link into it. Mm, That's it's the, only dark phase, It's right? only dark, yeah. It, it, it's, it doesn't... I guess during your turn you could possibly make this, right? Yeah, you can make it during your turn. Um, it's not, you're not locked into fiends. You're locked into dark monsters when you use the 
the ra the abomination monsters. Okay. Uh, Axis Code Talker. Uh, again, you know, very generic. Uh, Link Four, just to clear boards, big big beat stick. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one is I love this guy DD Wave Hiking Caesar. So what does this card do exactly? So this card is a, a quick effect negate for any effect or spell or trap that would summon a monster. So and it's not once per turn. So it's so. essentially two like solemn warnings. Basically. Yeah, two solemn warnings. Um, you have both of the the new dogs, the two level six under there. Uh, like I said, you detach the red one, and you can just set the the trap off of that effect once hits grave. Nice. And one muckcracker from the underworld. Nice. This card's just really cool. With discard a card, I can basically summon my entire archetype if it's in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for the extra deck. Now your side deck. Uh, the side deck. Uh, one feather duster, you know, for when you go second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this I got this from from David from Hetchy the Doge. I love this card. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What is in your deck that's a water? Uh, the Rakea and the new dog, the blue one. Oh. So, and the High King Caesar. If Do you I, look at the hand? Or? You look at the hand and then oh, discard okay. a card. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So, you can, you know, tribute the Caesar if you used it before, or the Rakea if it's on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, or any, you know, because we do run a couple water monsters in the deck. Um, three Nibiru. Another hand trap, you know, going second. Yeah. Three dark coal. This card is really good because <laughs> also starts your deck. Yeah, it uh, it it starts my combo. If I if I open up with just one monster and the dark hole, this, this starts everything. Just yeah. normal summon, blow up the <laughs> field, both fields, you know. Uh, three trap trick since this deck, you know, does use traps. Uh, also use it's mostly for the for the spiritual art card that's in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, to yeah. turbo out the, to turbo it out, the yeah. water card. Yeah. Okay. And three dark illuminable. Because you can actually break boards. Yep. All right. Nice. Thank you, Martin. Anything else you want to say about your deck before we go? Um, this deck's awesome. <laughs> like, I'm so glad I got a support. Uh, nice. I'm start, like, you know, destroying everyone now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Martin. Congratulations on your placement thank tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too.